Hello, I'm Brandon Schweitzer, Dean of the School of Risk Management at St. John's University's Tobin College of Business. I'm here this morning with Jordan Gantz and Sonny Powers of Ironshore Insurance, and we're here to talk about foodborne illness, food safety, issues affecting uh, companies involved in agribusiness, and frankly, those of us who eat every day. What's going on with food and food processors these days? Well, agricultural companies, uh, anyone involved in the food chain right now, as well as the companies such as Ironshore that insure them, are operating in a very complex environment. Uh, there's been a lot of legislative activity. Food Modernization and Safety Act. Exactly. On the, on the federal level, uh, you know, even beyond that, there's, there's also additional involvement uh, at the state and, and, and local level. You know, as a result, companies involved in, in agriculture are dealing with a, a, a lot more, a, a lot of layers of, of administration, of bureaucracy, of regulation. And that's really uh, led to a heightened awareness uh, within the industry of the need to uh, maintain uh, food safety. So, Sonny, is it just a matter of heightened awareness or are there more incidents? Well, I think it's really a combination of, of sort of the, the, the two meeting in the middle. You've got a growing, you know, heightened awareness that is uh, driven by uh, in, intense media scrutiny, uh, but also uh, events that have taken place over the last uh, a year. What is the state of play amongst the, the agribusiness firms uh, and the insurance industry itself in response to this uh, daily occurrence almost of issues affect, affecting food? Well, st first off, starting from the agricultural company's perspective, um, you've got companies that you know, want to do the right thing. They want to do the right thing for moral reasons. They want to do the right things for the, to benefit their own um, uh, company. And They've got cost issues, public, uh, uh, public relations issues. Well, food safety is not, within a company, achieved without cost. And with the increase in, 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 regul in the regulatory requirements to comply with various legislations, and this could be at the federal, the state, the local level, right. there are various layers of government that have gotten involved uh, on a daily basis with food safety, and there's a cost, a financial cost, for companies to comply with all that. Companies are aware, but still bad things happen. So the industry, the insurance industry, and Ironshore in particular, what what, what's the industry doing? I think uh, what's particularly uh, relevant to what we at Ironshore are trying to do and, and the rest of the industry that uh, participates in the agricultural space is come up with products that help risk managers of these agricultural companies better manage their food safety programs and, and address that, that element of risk. As an ag agricultural company, you could be doing all the right things, uh, but there are still certain things that remain out of your control. And, uh, and fortuitous events do happen uh, where people can uh, eat contaminated food uh, and, and get sick. And your reputation and, you, and your financial uh, situation is on the line in, in a situation like that. So what we try to do is address, help risk managers address that situation and come up with products that allow them to operate um, in a more stable financial products such as our products really are designed to be there to provide financial support for the companies in the event of their best efforts something just goes wrong that somebody just makes a mistake in the course of a day uh, and there's a, a set of circumstances and people become ill and that leads to lawsuits we do however have a feature in one of our products that um, that Sonny could provide a little more background on that also serves to um, assist the companies in, in these kind of situations. And, and that is? Well, we call it our Crisis 360 uh, coverage enhancement. And really what that is, it's an endorsement that we would attach to our umbrella policy or our excess liability policy. And what it does is it provides a first dollar uh, coverage benefit to the insured that gives them um, a separate uh, set of funds as well as direct access to a public relations firm that, uh, that we contract with who are experts um, in terms of reputational damage and, and dealing with um, crisis sort of situations. It's a bad pun, but it's fair to say Ironshore has a healthy appetite for this kind of risk. I would say absolutely in terms of the, both the capacity that we're able and willing to offer uh, and in terms of the number of different classes of business that we're able to look at, we really don't uh, try to pigeonhole ourselves or scrutinize in terms of the classes of business that, uh, that we're willing to entertain. Um, and we feel that that sets us apart in the marketplace. And, and Jordan, you're, you're, if I may say so, an industry veteran at this, 
you're a man of a certain age, like, <laughs> like I'm a man of a certain age. You can say that, yes. Yeah, well, I have said it. So, <laughs> so to, to kind of wrap up here, is, is, is the industry and is Ironshore, you know, moving ahead to a better day in food safety and, and risk mitigation? Well, I think foremost, uh, the, uh, the agricultural industry has a much heightened sensitivity to um, the, 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 the consequences for all parties of, of, uh, of serious instances of uh, food contamination. And as a result of uh, that heightened awareness, I think there's been more resources allocated, both in terms of time and money, uh, to for preventative measures. Uh, you know, there's just more awareness uh, within the public, and that hopefully will lead to a, a, a quicker resolution. As long as the as long as people eat, and as long as the world has bacteria, there's likely to be these kind of issues. There's always going to be some problems, but you know, the more that companies are sensitive to protecting uh, the food chain and protecting the general public by partaking in and in, in following. Uh, you know their own policies in terms of food sanitation and 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 following government guidelines. Uh, doing so is only going to reduce the number of incidents that occur over so time. So you know, in short, I should tell all our students downstairs today at the cafeteria just you know use your meal cards and uh, and fill up your trays today. It's 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 all good, guys. <laughs> they may want to order the hamburger well done though. Just order to be the safe. hamburger well done. Thanks very much for being with us here today, guys.